Welcome back to our first ever on-site episode of Timeless Tales with me, your host, Ryan Conroy. This episode is sponsored by the Kimberton Garden and Gift Shop here in quaint little Kimberton Village. Walk with me as we explore a very important historical marker. As we walk down Kimberton Road, notice these beautiful plants and flowers along our path. Right here we have some hydrangeas and some cone flowers, quite appropriate for our new episode of Timeless Tales. A lot of these plants were actually purchased right down the street here at the Kimberton Garden and Gift Shop. Pennsylvania native plants are really important to our environment. They're important to the soil, they're really important to the bees and the butterflies, and all of that comes into play with pollination. Behind me is a historical marker for one of the first female naturalists, abolitionists, social reformers, and human rights activists, Graysana Lewis. Born in 1821 and raised in the Kimberton area, Grace Anna was a Quaker who believed in equal education amongst women and men. Lewis learned to love natural history from her mother and was influenced by Abigail Kimber, a woman botanist who had discovered and identified several species from her education at the Kimberton Quaker Girls School, and then later became a teacher at a new boarding school for girls, where she taught astronomy and botany amongst other subjects. One of Grace Anna's earliest publications was written in the 1840s it encouraged fellow Quakers to join the anti-slavery movement. The Lewis family farm in East Vincent Township also became a frequent stopping point on the Underground Railroad. Lewis was also interested in ornithology and wrote her first scientific publication, Natural History of Birds, Lectures on Ornithology in 10 Parts, in 1868. She wrote this to be a cheaper option for the general public to learn about American birds. Lewis's interest in writings grew beyond ornithology into the classification of natural history and a tree of life, which she exhibited at the Centennial Exhibition in Philadelphia in 1876. The development of the animal kingdom, available in the Biodiversity Heritage Library, is a 20-page overview of her theories. It was prepared for the Association for the Advancement of Women. The group was formed in 1868 with the goal of presenting practical methods for improving women's role in society, including education on a variety of subjects. All of these achievements led her to become one of the first women to be accepted into the Academy of Natural Sciences. What a great spot for a historical marker honoring an amazing woman at none other than the Kimberton Garden and Gift Shop, which was also the former blacksmith shop in Kimberton built in the early 19th century. Kimberton Whole Foods follows the traditions of nature and organic ways by providing those resources to our community. One of the direct connections is their special selection of Pennsylvania native perennials and trees. Kimberton Whole Foods flagship store is right across the street, which has been family owned since 1986. I, for one, am a frequent shopper for groceries, vitamins, and definitely those native plants. That's all we have for this edition of Timeless Tales. We appreciate this episode being sponsored by our friends at the Kimberton Garden and Gift Shop. Be on the lookout for the next episode of Timeless Tales. Thank you.